The Department of Homeland Security says the U.S. borders with Canada and Mexico will remain restricted through at least June 21, with only trade and essential travel allowed until then. The restrictions had been set to expire Friday. DHS confirmed the move in a tweet Thursday, but noted it is working closely with Canada and Mexico to safely ease restrictions as conditions improve. The agency, in conjunction with its Canadian and Mexican counterparts, originally closed the borders to leisure travelers in March 2020, at the start of the pandemic. The restrictions have been extended on a monthly basis ever since. Canada now requires anyone entering the country by plane or land to be tested in advance for COVID-19, and anyone coming in from the US must prove they are doing so for essential reasons and must quarantine upon arrival. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has said he would prefer to wait until 75% of his country is vaccinated before fully reopening the border. My gut tells me it's going to be closed, at least well into the fall of 2021, he said. Booster shots for COVID-19 vaccines will probably be required about 8 to 12 months after initial inoculation, the CEOs of Pfizer and Moderna told Axios. That would mean as early as September for the first group of Americans to get vaccinated. Michigan will fully lift outdoor capacity limits on June 1 and, starting July 1, end indoor gathering caps that were put in place to curb spread of COVID-19, Governor Gretchen Whitmer announced Thursday. The number of Americans seeking unemployment aid fell last week to 444,000, a new pandemic low and a sign that the job market keeps strengthening as consumers spend freely again. A study of 280 nursing homes in 21 states across the U.S. provides real-world confirmation of the COVID-19 vaccine's effectiveness. About 1% of residents tested positive for the virus within two weeks of receiving their second dose, and only 0.3% did more than two weeks after being fully vaccinated, researchers reported Wednesday in the New England Journal of Medicine. Most of the cases did not produce any symptoms. Keep refreshing this page for the latest updates. Want more? Sign up for our Coronavirus Watch newsletter for updates to your inbox and join our Facebook group. Given the attention and success of Ohio's Vax a Million, New York and Maryland are trying similar approaches, announcing lottery incentives to convince residents to get vaccinated against COVID-19. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo said those who get the vaccine at select state-run sites next week will receive a lottery scratch ticket, with prizes ranging from $20 to $5 million. Cuomo said participants have a 1 in 9 chance of landing a prize. Maryland Governor Larry Hogan promoted the state's new inducement at a news conference in front of a man in a lottery ball costume.